morning. I'm Susan White, the Vice President for Student Affairs, and it is my great pleasure to welcome you to the 42nd Annual Spring Convocation for Bastyr University. To begin, I would like to introduce the Associate Vice President for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, Dr. Erica Lorenza Del Viano. Good morning. As we begin our event today, we would like to intentionally acknowledge that the lands on which Bastyr University stands and on which we hold this commencement today are the traditional, ancestral, and contemporary lands of indigenous peoples, particularly the Coast Salish people in Seattle and Kenmore, Washington whose spiritual connections to these lands forms the foundations of their ways of being. We recognize and esteem the values, vast knowledge, and collective wisdom of these nations from the past and present. We honor their resiliency as we recognize the history of oppression, racism, and extreme hardship that has and continues to affect their communities. We at Bastyr University endeavor to be stewards of the lands on which the institution stands, embrace indigenous ways of knowing through our programs and initiatives, and strive towards policies and practices that bring about justice and reconciliation. It is important to note that this land acknowledgement is only one step in honoring the presence and continued contributions of Native tribes. I invite you to intentionally take some time to learn more about the land on which you live, on which you learn, and which you play, so that we can collectively reflect on our engagement as we manifest these intentions in the land acknowledgement as one Bastyr community. Thank you. Representing the Bastyr Board of Trustees, please welcome Carol Taylor. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the Bastyr Board of Trustees, I want to congratulate you all for persevering over these last several challenging years um, with your you know, determination um, to really make it to this milestone here today. I know that you all uh, didn't do this alone, and so I want you, I'm going to invite you to all stand and give a rousing thank you and support uh, to the support to the people that uh, were part of all of this, your family, your friends, your colleagues, your teachers, your faculty, your staff, and, uh, and give them a rousing applause. Dr. Bill Mitchell. Who better to understand the ongoing gift of the founders than the students who are the beneficiaries of their vision? This year, the student chosen representing all graduating students is Amber Hernandez. Thank you for Bastyr. Bless it. 
inspire it, and engulf it. In the urgent flame of the search for truth and integrity, in the epistemology of natural medicine, thank you for the gift of life, and thank you for the nourishment and energized this gift. Thank you for your great spirit and that has motivated the people here today. Thank you for the opportunity that Bastyr University provides as a forum for us to serve your people and especially those lives that have fallen on hard times of suffering and disease. Remind us to be humble, for humility is the womb of passion. Open, your, open our eyes and our hearts to see and appreciate the vast potential of those around us. Grant us grace to nurture and encourage each other. And more than anything else in this troubled world, remind us that love is the strongest healer and the reason for life itself. Thank you. Before we go on, I have the pleasure of introducing to you one of the founders of Bastyr University, Dr. Les Griffith. So now my great pleasure to bring up the president of Bastyr University, Dr. Devin Bird. Hello, I'd like to extend a welcome to our graduating students, trustees, administration, faculty, staff, family members, friends, and guests. Today is the moment we honor and celebrate our graduates who have dedicated numerous hours listening, taking notes, studying, and practicing to reach this very point. Graduates, you are the reason why we are here to highlight your hard work, and to celebrate your accomplishments at this point of your pathway. In life, we are presented with key opportunities to be a part of what is happening around us. In these moments, you can one, choose not to engage and risk losing ground, two, make a decision to engage enough to be minimally involved, or three, choose to engage in such a way that you make a difference. In these moments, the decisions you make are as critical as they can be because they impact the course of your life in definable ways. I ask you today, what choice are you most comfortable with making? The first area, choosing not to engage while taking the risk of losing ground, could possibly be the easiest and least risky decision to make. Or could it? Some choose not to engage because they fear failure. What happens when you make a conscious decision to not engage or get involved? You run the risk of not being a part of the process, of not improving your current situation, or missing an opportunity to positively impact your life. You potentially, and are likely, to miss an opportunity to also achieve success. If you consider what you have learned while at Bastille, choosing not to engage your clients, your patients, or a new entrepreneurial venture also has the potential to impact others' lives, given that they will not be able to receive the benefit of your expertise that you've worked so hard to obtain. The second area, making a decision to engage enough to be minimally involved, is a step beyond choosing not to engage. If you move into this area of operating, it means that you're interacting with others in such a way that it allows you to at least feel as though you're not sitting still, to feel as though you have made a decision. If you're operating in this area, whether by choice or circumstance, the questions I ask you today include, one, are you really making the difference in your life or in the life of others if you choose the path of minimal involvement? Two, are you rightfully challenging yourself? Three, are you allowing yourself an opportunity to grow and to move into a new space 
you've never encountered before. And four, are you disrupting your normal state of operating? And then finally, are you disrupting that which has become so comfortable for you and familiar in such a way that you now become uncomfortable? There are many of us who would rather not take that challenge of disrupting our own lives and taking a chance of becoming involved to the extent that we move into unfamiliar territory. Is this the path you want to take in your life? The third area is choosing to engage in life in such a way that you make a difference. Given that you're at this point in your career, I think it is safe to assume that this is the space that every one of you have chosen, are choosing to operate, live, and thrive. Your decision to enroll at Bastyr is evidence of the fact that you are someone who has made a decision that it is better to be uncomfortable by putting yourself into a situation where you're challenging yourself to do things you've never done before. You are someone who is in a position of not only having been uncomfortable, but someone who is in a position to know that you are able to achieve your goals, even though you may not have realized it to begin with when you began your program. It is important and critical to understand that being uncomfortable, being in a state where you've never experienced the level of uncertainty or lack of knowledge, does not mean that you don't have the capabilities to achieve your new task or your new goals. It is, however, an indication that you are in a growth process and that you must move forward daily and with purpose. Being in a state of what some call disruption or discomfort can be an indication that you're reaching new heights. As long as you have a vision for where you're going, you need a plan, you need a roadmap, and you need to evaluate your pro progress in an ongoing manner. Remaining in touch with your goals is what I ask you to do. In fact, I challenge you today to write down your top three goals, place them in a location where you will see them that will allow you. Now is the time for you to understand that you need to advance yourself in this area or if you're not operating here, and President Byrd will hand the graduates their folders. Dante Maria Abernathy. Thank you. 
systems. Tugast Tolera Ijeta.
Charlie Marie King. Wendy Gordon, Chair of the Midwifery Department, will put the graduates receiving a Master's of Science degree in midwifery. <laughs> Brittany Blanco. Thank 
Shen Orozoko McCormick.
and Masters of Arts in Counseling Psychology, Mimi Connell. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of the University and the State of Washington, I hereby confer upon you the master's degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges thereunto pertaining. Yes, I am proud to present the 2023 graduate class of Bastyr University. moments to offer thanks. First to Grace, Dante, and Mariah. We couldn't have done it today without you. Thank you. <laughs> to all the graduates, thank you for your hard work you have put in 
and the joyous work you have ahead as you transform the health and well-being of the human community. Thank you to the dedicated staff of Astier who work every day to support the students in their educational pursuits. <laughs> Finally, most importantly, we take this time to acknowledge our excellent, excellent faculty. Members of the faculty, please rise to receive the appreciation of your newest colleagues.